This is BPM News reporting live. I swallowed it from Raymond you're, Washington. You're here, not here. I know. Okay. Just, just Raymond Washington. Yes, he got that right. No, oh. I don't think I knew it worked. The Ray Ray. You know? <laughs> I don't like this at all. You don't like it? Why do you like it? It's not good for you. It's not. Why isn't it good for you, Devin? I don't know. How do I sound like this? Uh, I mean, does this sound good? I don't know how you sound. It doesn't I mean, sound good. You're born that way, so you sound like that. I mean, like if I put my mic right here, does this sound bad? I mean, it's okay. It's your a ways away. It's it won't pick you up. As Were good. you listening to it, with sir? Are we recording I was, right it's now? It's better. It's when better, you, it's better when you have it up here. A couple inches. Yeah, we, it's this when you have it normally. You know. Are we recording right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? This is real. I was. I was. Gonna, I was gonna. You just. No, I'm sorry. I. I was gonna say something. I don't want to say it. No, I don't want to say anymore. Why? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It Everything does. matters. Why is this Definitely don't want to say it now. Why do you want to say it now? Because. Did I make you feel self- self-conscious? A little bit. Did I? I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's not because you're lisp, so. Did he make <laughs> Did he make you randy? <laughs> you know what? We just watched uh, The Cable Guy um, the other day. <laughs> yeah, literally, actually, it was last night. And as he was talking with his lisp, I was like, that's me. Yep. I'm him. I don't like it. I'm him. I see myself. Oh, really? and I don't like it. I don't ever I don't ever hear you actually have a lisp. What are you talking about? I absolutely he have has a lisp. A slight lisp yeah. I don't ever hear it. It gets worse when I start drinking. But I it, never yeah. I never hear it. Did you watch the last episode we did? It was I don't lisp oh, heavy. You go li- listen to it and watch it. Yeah. But like I've I like we've drank together before and I've never ever heard you have a lisp. So I don't understand. Are you deaf? No. Just dumb and blind. Are you dumb? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, then you should be hearing it. So I don't. I don't know what to tell you, man. I absolutely have a lisp. There's no way. You, I literally. I could hear it right then. You could hear it too, right? That's no. okay. It was right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not a lisp. That is a lisp. That's just actually. See, spit. I just did it again. It's just you spit in your no, mouth, no. Devin. It, it's because it, it's tongue. It's a tongue thing. It's you not a spit thing. Not in the way. Because I broke my tooth off. I have a little bit of a lisp now i noticed it too when i fix i have stuff to fix my teeth and i did it and i'm like oh i have to learn how to talk again because i sound different yeah have you seen punch in the face break some teeth and then it'll go away <laughs> just line up just have like guys line up just to hit me in the face <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just break it that'll be at the bpm pub games punch Devin in the face calvin you're used to that right getting punched guys in the lining face? up <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to uh, another episode of Beers Per Minute. I'm Mick Pettit. With me, as always, Devin Lopez, Calvin Mile. Yo. Uh, we're in person again. You're getting. Yet again. What? You're getting it it's d- double in a month. Double duty. So does this mean I don't have to do it again for like two or three months? Oh, it means you're going to do it like We're going to have to do it in like okay, next I don't week like probably. <laughs> I, I thought if I just knocked them out like no. two to three weeks in a row, what this like, act- I'd be good for a little bit. And what this just, actually no, 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 no. means is that we're going 100% in person. Whoa. Yeah. I'm on board with that. <laughs> if we do 100%, I'd do that. I would like to. I would like Can to. Can we just meet up every Friday night? I just need some guests. I money. just don't want to do Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you go party that is that is when you do that that's not when i party it's not sit at home and drink i don't know why but that's it's at the end of a work week i know that's why I sit why do you at think home friday beers are a thing because i sit at home and drink them no Fri- friday beers the account it's thirsty thursday instagram account oh i i, I was actually thinking, well i think it's because the old mill workers didn't want to go back to their nagging wives mm-hmm. and wanted to just get drunk sure but i my my house is my comfort space I have an office and a comfy chair. Get out of your comfort space. Get out of your comfort space, man. Gay. No. No, it's not. <laughs> it's actually not. I don't know. I like to go home. It's gay to be comfortable. It's gay to be comfortable. It is. <laughs> it is. You know what? That's a, that's a good argument for sweatpants. You know what? And why I wear suits and jeans to bed. You know what? That would that <laughs> Gay, both of you. You know, that we could put that on our t-shirt probably. It's gay to be comfortable. Oh. Uh. Gay means happy. <laughs> so so happy. yeah, that's technically so, true. You know what? I don't think com- anybody would be offended by that gay. at all. It, nobody no. would be really bothered. If by there it. was a shirt that said it's gay to be comfortable, nobody would get mad at you. Gay people would love it because they just like, feel like, that they're comfortable jolly? with themselves. What? Like the actual um, the word "gay." Like, is it 
the definition is it jolly? I can't remember the exact. It's, it's just it's happy. It's just happy. It's just happy. happy. Yeah. I can't remember exactly. Like, I can't remember so what would, would have to be? So the the logo on the shirt would be like a guy in like a uh, uh, light hearted. Light hearted. Okay. It'd be like a guy in like a recliner, like totally reclined and like. Like, 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 you know, like when you lay back and your neck gets super big and your chin is like out and you open your mouth. Like, no, nope. Nope. Like we that. don't do that. Like, well, it's like how grandfathers sleep in chairs. Oh. You know, like when okay. you're like ultimate comfort fell asleep in your chair mm-hmm. type of sleeping. Right. Or okay. loss of oxygen. You know, or that or happens. you died. Um, no, no. Just your brain just loses oxygen. So just... it'd be like a guy like that and a recliner, like a lazy boy. And then it would say it's gay to be comfortable. I don't know. And there that needs, would be the there shirt. There needs to be more to it. There needs to be like no. That's it. That's I, all you I, need. Just I think it just. I would rather go the be better other with just end. Words. Of, yeah, just, just words. Just words. No, you have to have a, just, no, have the, a logo. no. No graphic. <laughs> just we need a graphic. Equals gay. No. Perfect. I think. Yeah. The, I think the graph. We'll have to let the audience vote on that. I think that's the, more of a sticker idea. You I know what? Now that we think about it, I think it's a sticker idea. Graphic is good. Here, hold my beer for a second. I have to. My phone just vibrated. People. Is your wife texting you again? I think so. I think she's texting us for about food. pizza for food. I think what we should Did do. We order oh, pizza? she ordered it. She's she gonna order it. What's your order? What's your order? What you order? Oh, I guess uh, Jennifer I knows know. what I like. So hopefully Jennifer. Alfredo. That's it. Well, no, <laughs> no. That, there's really, really no other answer to that. It's just Alfredo. That's not true. I actually recently started having uh, Supreme pizzas, for, deluxe Supreme pizzas from Pizza Hut that have like everything except mushrooms on them. Mushrooms good. But I don't I, like mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. It's a texture thing. It's the only thing I can't ha- really have. Did you know that they're the reason why you eat uh, when you or when you eat a raw mushroom? The reason why your stomach hurts is because there's a thing in it. It starts with a C. I Psilocybin. No, 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 no. That, that does <laughs> not start with a C. <laughs> uh, but it's this some some sort of ma- makeup of it that we can't digest very good. So that's why when you eat raw mushroom, it actually hurts your stomach. But when you cook it, it cooks all that out. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Also, did you know that the whole saying of beer before liquor, never sicker, actually is true? But the reason is... Is that the carbonation? It is the carbonation. Okay. But but the reason it is is because the carbonation fills up your stomach. So when you drink alcohol, like actual liquor, the carbonation pushes the alcohol to the outside of your stomach lining so which pushes it into your bloodstream faster. So you can actually get drunker faster if you're drinking beer and shots. I think it's specifically when you put things in no. carbonation. No. It's not just the carbonation no, itself. No, this, this was from a doctor. No, is- no I'm saying I'm, I, it is the carbonation, but it's not like it's not, when you drink beer, your stomach doesn't fill up the carbonation just from the beer. It's when, you, it's when more things like liquor fall into the beer and then it car- it make makes it super foamy. Like if you take if you take a beer pour in a glass, right? Well it's not full of foam. But then if you take like a paper towel to represent carbs or something and you dunk paper towel in the beer, the foam overflows. Right. But but that's that's not what I'm talking about. It's not not like making foam in your stomach. It's just because there already is the carbonation in there that it just fills you up with gas, which pushes everything. You think to it's the just sides. the yeah, I don't you know you don't think it's the foam? No, I feel like it would be the mm-hmm. foam from more stuff falling in the carbonation. Because if you pour liquor in beer, it also foams up. Well, yeah. So why wouldn't that do it in your stomach? I mean, that's it, it might, but I mean, this is just I what I heard from a doctor. It matters if there's foam, the carbonation present, no matter yeah. what. You, you don't. There's no more carbon, carbonation isn't made when well, you pour it into that. Yeah. It's the same amount of carbonation. Yes, but I'm saying that the gases you'd burp out, so they wouldn't be pushing on your stomach. You burp. Right, but not it would everybody... be the it would be the foam that pushes it into your bloodstream. Mm-mm. No, because not everybody sits there and burps. Everybody burps. Many women at bars sit there and hold their burps in. We are with a man who holds in his farts. Yeah, but he burps. You know what? Actually, some of those farts may be burps. <laughs> Just saying, that yeah. is a thing that can happen. They went to the happened, south and uh, it, they found exit closed. And they went back up north. <laughs> they, uh, that that happened to my my brother in law actually once. Interesting. Yeah, he had backed up and he burped a fart. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, because it just I would actually throw up. Uh-huh. I would actually uh-huh. throw up. So what are, we, Parkman. what are we drinking tonight, boys? Um, I got I got some some good pens. Best back NA on today. the NA train. Well, I got some other ones too. I mean, are you going to drink those? Yeah. Are those NAs? Yes, they yeah. are. Yes, they are. They're so more I'll, different I'll NAs. Yeah. Uh, the pens best is like the good lager. This is um, Klausethaler. Klausethaler. It's a German one. It's it's pretty good. It's crisp. Contains a half percent alcohol. Uh, 
less than less than zero. So point four nine. Uh, this one is a weird one. This is by Wellbeing. It's Hellraiser Dark Amber. And it's really cool looking. Like I really like the the picture on it. Interesting. I like skulls. It's really awesome. Um, and this one it's it's, it's skull almost hop. like a hop tea. It looks like hop. It's got hops on the logo. You're gonna have to try it. Right. It. I'm saying because it's yeah. well, it's a beer, but it's yeah. it's a dark amber beer, but it it tastes more like a hop tea than it does beer. Hmm. I don't know what a hop tea opinion. is. You what never you... had a hop tea? No. What are oh, you drinking, man, Devin? Hop tea is good. I am drinking uh, Ride the Spiral, a double IPA from Silver City Brewing with pineapple and orange. Hmm. A uh, nice little eight percenter. That sounds yeah. pretty good. I think you know Devin. Devin reminded me of the wonder that is pocket beer. So I'm also drinking a double IPA nice. from Silver City. I love a good pocket beer, man. Pocket beer. Over here. You know what? It goes shower beer oh, and then shit. pocket beer. Freaking A, dude. I've never had a shower beer, actually. Oh, You've never had a shower, shower beer? beer? I've never had one. I'm okay, gonna... pause the podcast. Go take a shower real quick and yeah, take the beer no. with you. I'm going to try this. It smells super hoppy, so I'm, I might it not taste very enjoy fruity. it. But <laughs> I'm going to try it on your based off your recommendation. Thank you. So if, if I hate this... It's your fault. Just have, so everybody knows. Have you guys ever had um, a PBR? Uh, I believe it's the coffee. No, 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 not the coffee because that's delicious. The blackberry one. No, it's the high. It's, no, it's not high content. It's a. Like there's like seltzer. Special. Thing, right? No, it's a special lager, and you oh, only no. get it in like the four four sixteens. Freaking amazing! Yeah. I got it down to Oregon on a camping. That was my first shower beer. Like actual, like full on. No, no, no. Like, like a camping like, shower beer. Like actually doing a shower beer, where you pour it on your hair and you do all that stuff. No. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold Stop on. Hold it. on. Hold on. Do you not? Do you actually not know what shower beer actually is? Okay. Like the so, real shower beer. Here's the thing. I didn't know that that was the thing, but okay. I, I'm I'm gonna explain to you what I do with a shower <sighs> beer, and you tell me if that's a real shower beer or what it means. So when I thought was a shower beer was this is what you drink. I take the you guys back even. And you let it's the shower a, water get in the beer. And then you drink the shower water. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's, a long, it's a long, hot summer day, you guys. You know, you've been working outside. You go inside to take a shower. I like to grab a bottle. I think bottle is the best in the shower, but I might grab a can of Rainier. Because then I you go can into the shower, the glass on your head and then lay in it. And, <laughs> and I'm sitting in the hot water, hot, steamy waters all over me. I crack open that beer and it is cold coming right down my throat. Yeah, I do pour a little bit on my face and let it just kind of run down my body. I'm gonna. I scrub some of my chest hair with the the beer. It feels good. I don't know why it feels good. It just does feel good. I'm gonna find that soundbite and I'm gonna save it. Okay, do it. Because you just Is said that a you just beer? said coming down That's, my throat. Yes, part of... I didn't. You did. Did I? Yeah, you say that cold say? feeling. The oh, cold, coming down my throat. Yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. okay. Yeah. so I'm gonna save that. That's what I can do. That but that that is that's pretty much it. So in, in out of the, context. Uh in what was it? In World War or Korea. In Korea. Um the it's actually on MASH. In the World War Korea. Well, I couldn't remember if it was in the World War. They probably did it in the World Wars too. Um but in they did it on MASH and it was the women, because they couldn't get shampoos and things, they when they'd shower, they'd use beer because it has all the vitamins and all those things in there that it rejuvenates your hair and actually makes your hair it's like a natural conditioner it probably made oh. them smell it works really good. Really wow good. it probably made them smell Dude, really good too and it, it like makes your skin feel good my yeah. soap has beer in it but i guess so it's like nice. i didn't realize that that was an actual thing i, I don't i don't use anything in the shower anyway we've already talked about that and i don't like it please use something i smell so i smell great smell me. why don't you do beer man that's a waste of beer no it's not no it's no not. no because you only that's use more like, expensive than you soap. use like that much oh waste Alcohol no, abuse. Not. No, you just pour it on. You kind of let it go around. You do just a little bit if more. You, if you ever pour out alcohol, it's alcohol abuse. No. For any reason. No, no, no. No, it is. No. No. Uh. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I have definitely dumped some nasty ones down the drain. And that was not abuse. You were that about to pour out cleanest. alcohol today. No, I wasn't. You literally were about to yes. not drink no, alcohol I was, today. I wasn't going to drink it. I wasn't going to pour it out. What were you going to do with it? I was going to leave it on the counter. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then. Who was going to drink it? I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna pour it, it out. <laughs> Bobby, like, probably Bobby was gonna pour it out. So <laughs> you would have poured it out though. That was would have been your fault for it getting poured out. No, if I just leave it there, someone else could drink it. Okay, logically, there's I do so that. many things that that could I be, do that, that could at be my to, right? I do that at my house. No. If someone comes over and I make them a drink and they don't finish it after they leave, guess where that drink goes? You drink it in my mouth. So here's the, here's here's another thing. I don't pour you out have alcohol. a dog, right? Yes. So what if you go, like, walking that dog through a park? I'd give my dog alcohol. 
Okay. Yeah, it's yeah good. That's, that's a normal. It's okay thing. for him. You go through the do- you like the dog park and you the dog poops there. Okay. You don't pick it up because you're like somebody else is gonna pick it up, so <laughs> it's gonna get picked up. No, it's not gonna already, just stay there. That's already in a place it shouldn't be. I mean, alcohol all, in a cup all, on the counter wow. isn't a place it shouldn't be. I think that that's. I think that's. Kind I of understand not your okay. point, but your analogy. Fell yeah, short. Have you ever watched... you're right. So you agree that you're what you're doing is wrong. No, but and what I'm doing is 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 morally gray area. You don't know what they did. Like to a that gray drink. drinker. I'm a gray drinker. But you don't know. You don't have no idea what they did to that drink. I don't care. Left. What drink? Wait, what drink? He's, he's talking. He's, he's going back to if people leave his, drinks at my house and he just drinks them. You know, if it's a half a drink or if it's a whatever. You don't know what's in it. It's alcohol. The, the, I'm gonna start peeing then, in then, my empties. When no, I then you should all, have no issue also, taking a pull off the bottle of mine. No, because, that was full of cork. No, no, I'm saying gross. just taking a pull off if it's just alcohol because they've been sipping, lipping. No, the bottle, I don't. I the have can. no problem sharing drinks with people. I'm gonna start peeing inside them all by empties at your house. So now. here's the other thing. Also, is that I keep track of people's drinks at my house. I I watch them drink. I That's see, creepy. I That's see, creepy, bud. I see, no, because I want to monitor their levels so I know when to give them more. Hey, just bud, like, I just don't like, need, just like a waitress. I don't need you to control. No, you're not no, a waitress. I'm not controlling. It's just like, a, it's no, I'm a bartender. A you're not a bartender, though. I, at my house, you're Calvin I am Mile, the bartender. And you're not actually, though. At my house, I am the bartender. That's actually I not make true. the drinks. I make the drinks and I serve the drinks. What else you, do you call that? You very rarely make me a drink at your house. Every time, I think you have made me two drinks at your house. Every single time you've come over, I made you a drink. That is not true at all. Yeah, it is. The last true. time, I, the two times ago, I actually made you guys all drink. That is true. That one time, because that was your job that night. And then the next time, I only drank beer. We agreed so you on didn't make me drink. We agreed on you making you being the bartender that specific evening. I don't need you to control my drinking. I'm bud. not control. You're not. You're missing the point. Me monitoring your levels is not controlling you. It's just being observant. I'm observing your levels so I know when to offer you more alcohol. <laughs> the word monitoring inherently goes along with controlling. Monitor, monitoring is not controlling. It's just observing. Monitoring isn't a word Until for Until you have to take action. <laughs> Until I must take action. Yes. <laughs> Which is then controlling. That's not controlling. No, because the, the action, the action yeah. is offering you more alcohol. That's the action. But still. Like, hey, hey, I see your drink's getting low. Do you want me to make another one? That's so then, in theory, the action. though. If you, if you, based off of your monitoring, mm-hmm. saw I, maybe I had drank a little bit too much, would then you pull back drinks from me? I give you water. <laughs> okay. You're controlling. No. You're controlling the situation. No. Like a nuclear it's, physicist, it's, you are knowing when to end up raising the a, rods and lower them. It's a friendly concern. I care about you and your well-being. I don't want you to be hung over tomorrow. If I see that you're drinking your drinks really fast and you haven't had any water. Hey, talk to me then, know, man. No, I'll, me. Just, I'll I will. I'll I'll bring over a glass of water and I'll talk to you. I don't say, just talk hey, to me. That, that's too pushy. I would say too pushy. Thanks. Yeah, and then I would dump the water right out. You know what? Just the actual act of you coming over and saying, "Hey, bud, I think you should drink some water." Mm-hmm. I would end up actually not drinking the water just no, for that. That's reason. That's not what I would say, though. I wouldn't say it like <laughs> that. That's not how I'd say it. How would you say it? Give, walk me through it. Let's okay, so we'll play. So say that you like. So I make you. I make my drinks really strong. So I make you a super strong drink, cool. and you drink it in like 10 minutes, right? Which is pretty fast for the drinks I make. Because it's like a four-shot big old beverage. Okay. Go if you're drinking it in 10 minutes, you're smashing it. Walk through. I'll make you one more. I'll make you another one. Okay. If you drink that again Science, I don't like it. pretty quickly, right? And without any food or any – like if you're just sitting there drinking like – if we're, if we're – Drinking and we're eating and we're all around. It doesn't matter that much because there's more things in your stomach. Sure. If you're empty stomach drinking and you have two of my drinks, I'm going to be like, hey, house rule. God, drink a glass of water and I'll bring you water. I'm leaving your house. Then. <laughs> yep. No, you won't. You won't. You know why? It would It would, It would. would set you off, I, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would. I yeah, wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like it either. It's kind of like See, someone saying, you know what you should do? That it just, no. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know what? No, no, no. I should do that, but I'm not. But no, gonna. that sounds like that's just you guys needing your own control. No. At that no, point. No, no, because that's control that's of my own no, body. No. no yes. No, I do no, need control of my you, own action. If you deny a healthy action just because someone else suggested it, that's a control issue it, on your no, part. No, it's not the, the, the it's not just that's a control it's a issue on your part. Action, though. That, that's not, if that I give good advice and you don't do it just because I said it, that's an issue with you, not with me. I mean, it's an ADHD thing, actually. It is that it, also. It, it's it's very, also that. that is a very so that also thing. might be why you're but, both saying that. 
but it's, it's, it's I mean, I regular people forever. would appreciate that a neuro, a neurotypical person would appreciate me looking out for them. Depends on it, how you're looking out for them. I just if described it. If, if, it would be if I said it in a better, playful manner, like, it, hey, house rule, got to drink some water. I don't want that playful uh-huh. manner. I, you know what? There's literally uh, honestly, attention to it. Anything else you could say other than house rule. OK, so would end up <laughs> being better. So than how, saying that. how would you prefer me to go about that? Hey, man, I got you a water. Just say that. Yeah, I want you to just leave it at that. OK, yeah. that's good. I'll do that. In fact, I would just say like, well, or just ask like, "Hey, you need some I'll water?" Like, I'll be like, "I'll you be like, hey, yeah, bro, you look thirsty." Ask. Well, no, you say you look thirsty. Like, hey, I'm getting something. You want some water? You know, one of the drink or water or something. Okay, just like water, offer, like, you know, hey, just you offer water. water. Or, yeah, like, don't bring you water. Yeah. Don't bring me a water. Nah. What if I don't say anything and I just set a glass of water next to you and walk away? That would be okay. Be I feel okay. like yeah, as long I'm, as it's not attention brought to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The no, house no, I'm gonna rule. put a glass of water next to you. I'm gonna put a neon sign next to you that points at you <laughs> and says, see, "Devin needs water." It, it, see, <laughs> even saying to somebody like, "Hey, you know, you should drink some water." If it's you're with people, mm-hmm. it is kind of embarrassing being like, "Oh man." My really wife does like... that to me all the time. Well, <laughs> yeah, because you're embarrassing. Because <laughs> you're embarrassing you. us. <laughs> no, I, the fact of saying house rule, I I can't even explain. You don't to like you the house rule how... concept. Like, I feel like ma- that much it makes it makes me just cringe inside. Like all of my internal organs just kind of like suck up. And feel, I'm like, I don't like this. I feel like that mm-hmm. might be primarily because of your relationship with your father. <laughs> and this is BPM's serious table talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this. How's your relationship with your father? <laughs> I'm not like that kind of came off as a joke, but I'm also not joking. <laughs> of course not. There's something there, but I don't really want to talk about it. That's I don't think that that's actually it though. Um, well, because, like, a house rule shouldn't be a threatening thing for you. I know, but it's the way you said it. It wasn't so much even the word house rule. It's – it. you know what? Maybe it is the word. I don't like it. You don't like the word house rule? I don't like the word house rule. I, and I think that's exactly why I said – like, I, it's I because, feel like the word house rule that. sounds like such a childish way to say something. No, because, like, another one of our house rules is that, like, we all hold hands while we're praying. Right? That's yeah, a always. that's a your your family rule. That's not a yeah, house, not a house rule, rule necessarily. That, that's, that's well, house rule is it came from wife a, when it wife came when you family. use the toilet or something like that would that's be not a house rule. rule. No, that's like, a general. Hey buddy, that's a general hey buddy, life rule. when you go to the bathroom, make sure you wipe that that's not a house rule. before <laughs> you get out of <laughs> that's there. That's a regular <laughs> house rule. Regular life rule. <laughs> I like holding hands when you're praying. That's no because that's a family. It's not a house. It might have come from the family thing, but it's also a house rule because if we have friends over. We grab their hands aggressively during prayer. I've never <laughs> held your hand. Yes, you have. Well, I genuinely have never held your hand you have. at your house. At your house? Yes. Ever. You have. You probably just don't remember. I don't. I, I, pro- I'm, uh, I promise I you, know. because every time we do. The only, okay, so I guess it depends on if we're at a table or if we're standing around the rooms. So I don't remember the last time I've sat at a table with you. That might be it. If we're all standing mm. and the prayer just happens like in the mm. kitchen weird then you're 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 gonna be you're gonna hold your wife's hand probably right i don't know i'm not a but like if we all if we're all around the table and the food is served yeah he's a cupper during prayer (laughs) is that is that another house rule we just kind of just like i mean that's more of a me and jennifer rule okay got it um what are you cutting that's how guys should greet each other just what's up it's a cup what am i cupping per cup Devin. (laughs) (laughs) they're called cups for a reason um cheeks Okay. That's that's that that's easier. A cup of cheeks, it's true. That's true. Cause, Depends cause on where you're standing. Um, but, but no, it's, like it's less noticeable. That's true. <laughs> but, people don't have enough of a cheek. But during a, a during either. during true. a prayer, everyone's people that are a bit flatter that you don't get to cut very much. It's my, kind of like a hard edge that you just kind of have to like. Grab everyone's <laughs> eyes are closed during prayer. Not nope. That's not usually. Not I get everybody. dizzy, so I keep my eyes open. <laughs> you get dizzy. <laughs> just stare. But no, like so, like if we're all sitting around a table and the food is served, right? Sure. The hands come by out. the servants. No, the servants serve the food. No, they place the place the place food. In we front of usually us serve and... the food. Me and Jennifer usually serve the food. So your house rule doesn't involve servants. No, we don't have any servants. Okay. Where? What would the servants do? Would they also hold hands? The foot massages under the table. There's foot massages. That's very demeaning that you would put them. They're actually servants. Under the... What do you want me to do? <laughs> not demean them. They're, They're already demeaned. demeaned. They're not demeaned. They're servants. There's a difference between a servant and a slave. Yeah, yeah. What, no, 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 no. There is, but there's only one difference. There's only one difference between servant and slave. You know what it is? Hmm. 
The servant gets paid. Slaves got paid too, but they're no. also treated. Yes, better. Slaves they got they, they got they got uh, an allowance, which is being paid. The, the slaves would get paid. There's a very different types of slavery. They got allowances. No, there was some slaves that would end up getting paid. There was yes. pre America slaves mm. would pre-America. end up getting paid. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> we have that cut but, right there. But the, <laughs> anytime we say pre America. <laughs> But like the the generally accepted difference between slaves and servants is that servants get paid. Servants servants can also leave when they want to. Servants could quit. No, no, they can't. Yeah, not always. No. no. Then you're not a servant. You're a slave. A lot of times they're signed into contracts. So they can't just yeah. leave. Well, you you would get the co- the penalties of the contract, which was usually like death. Well, that's your fault for signing a and contract. And a lot of times slavery. I don't. Slaves were not the same thing man it wasn't like bondage slavery like where they would be like pressed into it and a lot of times slavery did happen just in the same way that it would be like a job it's true from for slaves other... and servants were interchangeable no pre-america no that's not true absolutely mm-hmm. it is true no because servants were only available to wealthy people that could pay them poor people didn't have servants but a poor person could have a slave poor person could have a servant no they if, wouldn't be able to pay them if they would yeah because if somebody if, owed if a debt taking, yeah. they could end up choosing to be a to slave be sold into slavery yeah or a servant <clears throat> where it would not be the same it would they would not be no Mm-mm. it'd be the same thing man no you wouldn't become a servant because of a debt you could no you, you become could. a slave you could depending on, on how the person what do you ref- what what's okay what slavery you in... are you talking about like viking slavery you're talking about like egyptian slavery I'm talking about all slavery what slavery are you referring to because podcast. every every slavery was different we talk about all slavery on this podcast yeah, all that's slavery. not a good slogan for this podcast that's not gonna <laughs> yeah, be we talk about all slavery bpm <laughs> all the slavery <laughs> no Maybe we should start talking about some of our taglines guys should we it's it's been a you minute. just really want to get off the slavery topic, don't you? <laughs> Do we? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. The two white guys really want to talk about slavery a lot more. <laughs> well, because I'm sorry. <laughs> well, historically, historically, most slaves were white. Historically, Histor- black slaves, by numbers. By numbers, we're going to end up saying that by most numbers slaves were white. By numbers, I think that were like, Caucasian were were white. White until you want, you until want to until up? America. In America, most slaves were black. Pre America, slaves were white because pre America. Okay, I'm. That's what I. That's what I think. I guess we could Google it, but like, because I like, like during. I want to make sure you clarify that during the during like your like medieval European era, they they didn't get people shipped in to be slaves. They took their peasants and made them slaves, and they were white peasants. Okay, but there's way more eras than just the medieval era. It's true. Okay, so like the Egyptian era. There, even in the Americas, Ancient Egyptian era, like the Incan Empire and the Aztec Empire, had lots and lots of slaves. Incans and Aztecs mm-hmm. were white. They weren't white they at were all. White. Well, let me think. The Just one of them, no, black one of them does was. Not mean that they they were white. No, there was one of them that was that was fairer than the other. I can't remember which one it was. They were they generally were a bit darker, man. There were no. There was one that was that was more like. Um, like brown, but then there was Red also there was, there was also a one that was more fair, and I can't remember which one it was. Olmec, Incan, Aztec. I'm trying. To, I don't remember. Those, Those are the three, three I know. I I, Mayan? Can, I can think of Those the picture in my head, and it's like they're wearing the same style of garb, like with the feather, like the headdresses and the clothes and everything. Hmm. But they're that they're. What fairer. are you basing this off of? It was, was a, a picture. It was a picture. Mel Gibson's Apocalypse. It was, was a picture. I don't know what that is. Was Mel Gibson in that? In that? No, movie? he wrote it. He wrote it though. He wrote it. He wrote okay. it though. I actually heard something about that the other day, and like made me want to watch it because I'd never seen it. I'd never seen. It. I and remember I, it, the trailer. Well, the whole thing is about like you know how their their whole um, uh, the ancient thing of sacrificing. They like, choose somebody to right. sacrifice, right? And to appease the gods. And that that's what the, this whole thing is like. He is the one that's chosen to be sacrificed, and then he realizes like ah, i don't want to do this so basically he's running for his life mm-hmm. yeah and then interesting like the whole thing i guess in the very like the end of it he sees the ships coming in like oh yeah but that's almost like giving up a you know one torture for another that's coming because mm-hmm. that's when they brought christianity over and disease and genocide genocide yeah, slavery, genocide hitting all the all the things all the topics 
<laughs> Let's have some buzz balls. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got over there for buzz we got, balls? We got a uh, strawberry margarita, lime margarita, and a pina colada. Um, you know what? Why don't you choose one for me, and you choose one for you, and let's try each other's, and let's see, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Didn't want this one. That's fine. <laughs> Why are you choosing the same one? Why would we try each other's? Then? No, then we don't have to try each other's. I'd like you to put the red one back. We can just both drink a red. Okay, you just take the red. I'll take a different. Let's one. Let's both down the red as fast as we can. Whoever finishes it first no, wins. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Not Whoever finishes it first wins, Devin. That's, that's no, not how, that's me how it goes. Don't be a hoe. Give me a different one. Let's drink. Let's both drink a red. I'd like to have a different one. We're gonna do this next. We're gonna drink all of them right now. So we're gonna do do those next. You have to save two for the post show. Why? Why don't you save the red ones for the post show? Why? Good. Does that compromise? Why? We're saving those ones. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. Open them up. There's these buzz balls. I can't open it with one hand. I can't actually open it at all. You little girl. I'm gonna put this down really quick. Wow. Just. I can't even get my <clears throat> finger under the thing. You have nails? Need some nails? I don't have any nails. Is it uh, yeah. better than the uh, Bud Strawberritas? I don't drink those. I've, I I've don't never either, tried I've... those before. Oh, you've never tried them? Oh, they're no. gross. They're malt, right? They're, they're malt liquor. I can't do it with the key. Oh, my good lord. There's also this, if you can't do it. Thank you. There you go. This is a church key. What's it called? It's called a church key. Yeah, church key. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep, church key. Why is it called a church key, Mick? I don't know. I just know it is. It's got a bottle opener and opens your paint. That doesn't sound very churchy. This is actually surprisingly tasty. Yeah, yeah. of course it's the, delicious. The chocolate orange one was really good that I had before. So I, I don't like the idea of doing something chocolatey or anything that might have milk in it. That sounds gross Why? to me. No. Because these are not refrigerated when you get them inside the store. It doesn't matter. But that, yeah, so that doesn't really matter because um, neither is neither is um, um, condensed milk. That's I not what I was going to say. I just don't like the idea of it. I, I, I understand. Like the idea. Okay, no, wait. What's the but what's the idea the, of it bothers? What's the milk alcohol? Kahlua. So that, yes. Yeah. That's Kahlua is not refrigerated. Coffee. Yes. Once it's open, it has to be refrigerated. But I still no, understand. No, no. Sure. What? Once it's Kahlua? open. Just Not Kahlua. Like, Sorry, I meant Bailey's. That's what yeah. I was thinking about. Uh, ba- Bailey's. Bailey's has to be refrigerated. Yeah, yes, I didn't think it did because it does actually have cream in it. I didn't, I didn't think it's well, they're, but they're both milk based liquor. Kahlua is not milk based. Kahlua it's not just a liqueur. Yeah. Bailey's is milk based. Okay. As a. But it's not cream stored liqueur. in the fridge. It's not when you buy it. Neither but is it this. It does end up saying that you should end up storing it in the fridge. This, when you open it's it. called a chiller. You're supposed to chill it. Yes. I understand. But it's also. There are milk with a ones. Z, so it's like, you know. It's chilling. not with a Z, it's an S. Bro, the balls. The, the, z, the, the balls end, is. Balls. The chillers is an S. Right, but it's like it's balls. supposed to be chilling, you know? Chilling it. What do you it, think, man? It's tasty. It's pretty dang tasty. Dude, honestly, I love premixed cocktails. As long as they're not malt. I enjoy a wine premixed one, but not a malt one. I don't think I can do malt. What's an example ones? of a malt one? Um, malt liquor? So I can think of what I've had. I don't know. Jasmine brought over those Mai Tai things before. Oh, um, yeah. Four Logos, a malt one. Oh, That's I like Four Logos. <laughs> I don't like the the malt ones. The wine ones I can enjoy because they're kind of like, I guess maybe because they're flat. Maybe I I can do it because it's flat. You don't like a sweet there was, malt liquor. There was no. There was one yeah. premixed cocktail exactly. that I got at Walmart a couple months ago that was amazing. It was called like um, it was some like super patriotic name. It was like Freedoms or something like that, and it had like Primerica. an American it had like an American flag on it. And it was kind of expensive. It was like twelve bucks for a four pack. Jeez! Ooh. But it was amazing. Bougie. No, no, I'm telling you, this is the the best premix ball, can I've here. ever had. Hmm. It was so good. I highly recommend it. But you don't remember the name of it? It was it was like four freedoms or something like that. I'm telling four you, four freedoms. It was it was some you know super. What? The more you come up with names for it, the more embarrassing. It was it a sounds, really patriotic actually. name. <laughs> None of it sounds great. It was a really patriotic Did it come name. With the free flag? No. Oh. Did not come with a free flag, but it was delicious. It has like a blue stripe that you're able to put across your windshield or something <laughs> like that. Or... I'm gonna have to Google it now. <laughs> like a Spartan helmet that's the American flag and it has a little sticker there. I would love a Spartan helmet with those, the like, American flag. Those cool that cans that like it's, I'll just paint it has over the it. one thing, but you pull in the label and you take it off and it's completely different. Dude, I'm gonna get a Spartan flag jacket. 
next sometimes this, sometime this okay. year, and I'm gonna wear it, and you guys are gonna be impressed. Mm. All right, bulky. It's bulky, but uh, it's a jacket. It's, yeah. Jackets are supposed to be bulky. Like an actual jacket? Yes. Oh, oh, you aren't gonna like cosplay that? No, I bought one from the Microsoft store. I pre-ordered it. Only the people that finished the entrenched event on Halo Infinite could buy one. Mm. They're they're exclusive to people who finished the event. This is the nerdiest thing I've ever heard of. Probably. I'm a little Probably. bit uncomfortable I, I with that. I finished the nerdy. event That's... and I pre ordered it and it said it's supposed to ship Q three twenty twenty three. How much did that run you? Yeah. It was 150. 150? That's not bad, I guess. And it's got my gamer tag on it. Mm, and a, cool. a bunch of like 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 the the super like rare Halo medals. Oh, nice. Like like a Kiltacular or whatever. It's got like four of them on the sleeve, and then like really cool Halo art on the inside. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited about it. That'd It'll cool. come later this year, and I'm gonna show it off. I thought you hated mm. show and tell. No, that only when I do it. That was just Devin, actually. Devin hated show and tell. I didn't think Devin. It, hated it. I never said. I never said anything about it. It was Did Devin. You hate it? You hated it? Devin you was the it? one ragging on your show and tell, not oh me. Oh my god. I don't. I don't hate show and tell. I just, you know, if you show and tell something that I don't care about, I'm not going to care about it. <laughs> yeah. Why are you yawning? Yeah, what's going on? You getting tired there, buddy? I'm tired. What are you tired for? I don't know, you, man. Do you have I'm any... Tired. I... Anything to pep? Is this pep? Is this up? plastic? Little, little... This feels Can like I plastic. Doing... Do you guys mind if I do a quick little energy drink? Sure. Oh. Sure. Oh. I could, like... I have some dubby. Can I, can I put some oh, dubby in this? Oh, my God, dubby. Uh, I don't... I don't think I've had dubby, actually. Pour some powder but... in here. I could use some. I don't know how. We're going to have dragon fruit that strawberry margarita dubby. Dragon fruit strawberry margarita. How many scoops? In the, uh, how many, was, how how many, many does it is, say? How many is recommended? Yeah, what does it say? One scoop. One scoop per, for the. For what? One, one scoop it's per, one scoop per that container? Per this container, yeah. Which is 12 what? 12 ounces. 12 ounces. One scoop for, a, Lord. for a 12 ounce cup. Put a little tw uh, one scoop in it. Let how how many scoops pick. would you put in this little thing right here? I would put maybe half, like, like a not, quarter not of a half. scoop. Yeah, like a quarter scoop. None actually, because you're not really supposed to mix alcohol and caffeine. You're really hey, not. Hey, who, can I? Can I? Can I? Poor loco got can I ask you who cares? In trouble. Nobody cares. That's who. I think the the um, government cares. Ask me if I care about the FDA's recommendations. Because I don't. I don't want to get back on the FDA again. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't care about the FDA's. Rec I think the FDA is stupid, actually. Yeah. Because they uh, allow you to have w, poison. Dubby Be Better Jitterless Energy Blend. These microphones are way too close. <laughs> uh, Dragonade. Uh, that one's that's pretty cool. I've actually never had this one before. Bacon flavored. It nice. sounds delicious, though. It's got bacon flavor in it. Ba this is, this it is says the it right Dragon, there. Dragonade. Bacon flavor. Dragon fruit and pink strawberry lemonade. It, uh, it looks pretty promising, you guys. It does. Ooh, only for use by adults, though. Healthy. No children. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Wait, I don't think any of us can drink this because it says for use by healthy adults only. I'm healthy. He's relative. Have... He's Calvin has always said he's relatively healthy. I'm relatively healthy. Yeah, but has that actually been? Yeah, it's been. No, it's true. Been... I eat good. I'm you fat. Mean... I'm fat because of alcohol. I say it smells good. Does it? Ooh. I'm fat because of alcohol. I eat good. Man, these are awesome. Out of Long Beach, California. I eat good, but I don't oh, drink good. Keeping that. Is it delicious? How, how's that? How's that it's taste? Pretty good. You want to give it a try, Calvin? I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, swig me... it. You wanna take, wanna uh, take it first? Let me take it first. Let me take it first. Don't touch hands like that. Just take a little sip. I gotta get the. Ooh, kind of bubble gumish. It has a little bit of bubble gumish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, like that was the first thing I got. I and I don't know why because it doesn't have a bubble gum. <laughs> Notes of bubble gum on the nose. Bubble gum forward. Yes, it does. A little bit. A little bit. I man, pretty That's tasty. Delicious. Yeah, it's, give it another little shake just in like, case. <laughs> Gotta shake it up. It's almost Close like it, man. Shake uh, it. like Pez. No, I'm it's just like crunched up it. Pez. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. Pez is a good flavor, though. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy because, you know, I don't it has so much sugar. The, I don't right? smell the bubblegum. Yeah. I smell the, I smell the dragon no, I mean, fruit. Dubby has so much sugar. Oh, right? no. No, 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 no. No w sugar? It has no uh, sugar at all. Wow. Nothing. Nope. That's surprising. Not even listed on the ingredients. There is whole coffee fruit extract, though. Coffee fruit? Yeah. That's... Did you not know coffee is a fruit? I thought coffee was a nut. That's no, it's, it's, it's a fruit. fruit it's a fruit, my guy. Mm -hmm. Yep, it has all your vitamins and everything you need. Our, vitamin C, vitamin B2, 
B6, B12, all that good stuff. Aren't nuts fruits? I I don't know. I can't say honestly <laughs> that I know that information. I it maybe that's very possible. Well, this is awesome. Um I'm definitely going to buy more. Yeah. Definitely should. Especially with our in. with our discount. We uh the B- BPM BPM is the code that you'd want to put oh, in. Oh, really? BPM? BPM. So I can just go on to W.GG. Or is it beers per minute? It's. <laughs> you should, you should it, tell me. Is it BPM or is it beers per minute? What do, I wait, would, wait, you do said it was BPM a, first. Do we I have did. a code here? Did, we have a code. To, did, there is a code. B, you, BPM did would you just be. Did buy this or did, did we actually so, like, have a sponsor here? Devin set it up. Sponsor here. Devin set it up. And I'm going to tell him BPM would have been simpler. It actually is BPM. It is BPM. So you said it first. You said it right. The I did first it right time. the first time. You just made it worse. But it's <laughs> okay. Questioning. Yourself. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, you go to w.gg and you can get any of the flavors right now. I would recommend um, getting this one, the Dragon Age, with a uh, real good, a real sexy discount too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the BPM as a Type as a the, coupon code. The discount code, coupon code. Yeah, discount BPM, of... all caps. What, what's the discount? How much we get? 10% discount. 10%. That's pretty sexy. And now is that for anybody? Anybody else? Anybody. Or just our listeners. Any, well, just, it, well, I mean, just our listeners. If they don't but... listen to it, how are they going to know what the yeah, code how is? they know BPM, man? Well, I mean, if somebody goes and blabs their mouth, I mean, you have to tell somebody to listen. You, okay, so no. If you listen, come and listen to if this you so listen, if you listen to us tell you the code's BPM, and then you go and tell your friend the code's BPM, we'll allow they're it. allowed to use the We're code. We're allowed that. It's, I don't know. I, I think, know. I'll no, allow I it. Think, I don't think so. I think... I think they need to, if they say, like, yeah, I got this awesome deal on this stuff. Like, well, oh, how'd you get that coupon? Well, here's like, the thing. No, it wasn't honey or anything. You here's gotta the go thing. listen to this. No, here's the thing. The code. Here's the thing is if you tell your friend that BPM's the code, they're going to be like, BPM, what does that mean? And then you could tell us, tell them about the podcast. Bowel it's movement true. promptly. Yes. Bowel movement promptly. Honestly, isn't that a pretty sweet shaker, though, also that, that it came with? It's Look at that. Yeah. I think I think they should make a, I think they should make a bigger one. Honestly, gonna, they do have a bigger one. I got okay. that smaller one. Going to be drinking though. some more of this though, and uh, yeah, probably during the podcast. You, wow, that was a really big gulp you that, took of that. That was a huge one. <sighs> so how long does it say that these ones? Uh, How's the mouth feel? Yeah, kind of powdery. A little powdery. <clears throat> a little powdery. Um, the flavor's good though. I don't get any bubble gum. I don't know what you guys are talking about bubble gum. It's a little bit of a bubble. It's gum dragon flavor. fruit, my guy. When was the last time you actually ate a dragon fruit? That's what dragon fruit tastes like. Is bubble gum? It's not bubble gum. Yeah, but it tastes kind of like like bubble bubble gum. gum It's sweet. It's sweet, but that's dragon fruit. I promise you. Okay, it may be dragon fruit. No, like if if, if you were to taste like the other one that we have, which is a green apple, um, you're not going to taste any bubble gum. It's the dragon fruit specifically flavor. Dragon W energy. Be better. It actually says jitterless energy. Da bubby, da bubby, ba ju ba ju na ba ji. It does say be better. Where? Oh, it does. Yes, be it does. That's be their. Be that's better. their slogan. Well, be better. Dang it! Well, we can't take it. We well, could. Dubby's already. No, we can't. It's no, right. no. We already read what it. we'll do? We'll do BPM Dubby. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, we'll we'll just be add, with Dubby. We'll add <laughs> BPM <laughs> on the front of it. <laughs> so be better with Dubby. Go and put in the code BPM. Get your ten percent off. Support them. Is is be better with Dubby going to be the title of this episode? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we don't really come up with titles. Here. Mick just does it without telling That's us. Definitely not. Our he does job. it. Mick does it without telling us, and then they're insulting titles sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they're great. Hey, I only put in things that are from the show. Hold on, do you put in the titles? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, do titles. Yeah, no, he does titles and descriptions. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Even though he recently he said that Swa did them. No, no, he lied. No, 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 no. He lied. I did not. I said that specific thing was straight from him. Didn't say. There's that no he... way. Yes, uh, that specific thing of. Calvin does not know anything about AR. Yep, that was it. That was from him. Got it. That's but, a lie also. Do you guys notice that most of the titles are actually from me? Are they? I say most of the, like, titleful things. Like the things you say in the episode or the things that yeah. make picks to be titles? I feel like statistically, and I could pull up the statistic, but I feel like the majority I, of the things I say, what does that mean? I feel like Am the I statistic the is more that none of the titles are ever said in the show. <laughs> yeah, they are. None of the titles are ever said in the show. Yes. Yes, they are. That's almost the whole point. every single title is said. No, there there are summaries of something that was said no, in the show. No, they're most most name every one. single one of them. Just all the, of them. Name one. The the tractor one. Name me another brand of tractor. That's what he said. No. Yeah. Linda, if you're listening, we just want one. I remember yeah. Mick saying that. <laughs> yep. You have a little Tom mouth, and you know it. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> said that to you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, your Walmart Rainbow Siege. I don't think yes, that that's what we said. 
Did we say your? We, yeah, because we said a, we said Walmart Rainbow Siege, but did we say the word your? I don't even yeah, remember. I don't, what does Walmart me. Rainbow Siege mean? It was it was. You, my, you gotta go listen to the episode, man. Yeah, yeah it was his outfit. He said a picture outfit. of the outfit. Remember, it was my it was when I was my all soul up. leaves my body when I do this podcast. You did say that. <laughs> you yeah. said that. No, you did. You did said I? that. Yeah, that was I said that, dude. That's, that's funny. No, it's talking about you not remembering what's happening. You literally just did it again. <laughs> Animal <laughs> anus is the tenderest meat. That I said that. Okay, Calvin doesn't like mixed sound bites. That's a general. That's assumption. a that's a general. That's a summary. Um, you just slurp soup aggressively. I said that's that. You mm-hmm. that cinnamon you clown. That's uh. Oh, that's that you was also, Mick. Right? No, I think that's me. That's you as well, because he can't, can't handle fireball. Oh, I have a yeah, natural right. amount of grease. I said that. You see? Yeah. Okay, okay, you're right. You're right. They're Some quotes, of them, bro. A lot of them are quotes. Yeah, there are some that are summaries. Stuff. I do say pretty funny things. Did you just crush that entire dubby? Not yet. It's almost gone. Bruh. Man. Bruh. I only had I only took a little oh, yeah. baby. I forgot I had this. Yeah. I had some more. I had some more that. I took like a good it's delicious. I took a good old man gulp of it. That's pretty good. If you look at the color of it too, it, it is very white and like chalky and powdery. It kind of reminds me of like the antibiotic that you get kids. What other what other put the flavor in it? What other flavors do they have? Um so their new one that just released is called uh, Big Energy Tears. And it's a like blue raspberry because they're combating big energy drinks. I love blue raspberry. Oh, blue raspberry is one of my favorite flavors. Cool. Yeah. No, Dubby has some really uh, good flavors. The other one is Dub Sludge um, nice. that I got, which is a green Granny Smith apple hmm. and secret sauce. I don't know what the secret sauce is yet. It's, it's McDonald's Mac sauce <laughs> flavor. They have mm. Push and Punch, which is fruit punch and lemon lime. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Um. And I think there's a couple more. So, that are, yeah, with that uh, shaker, yep. the bigger one, is bigger it one. just the same, just bigger? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty sweet. I think uh, so. I recently um, worked in a super supplements, and I saw super supplements. I saw shakers that had this little metal, um, mm-hmm. like sort of the ball, ball, a ball yeah, strainer yeah, a ball. in them. Yeah. And I thought that was amazing. They all they all normally have balls. Yeah. The only thing that's different about this one is it doesn't have that a one ball, doesn't, but it has a uh, kind of like a yeah thing inside of it. That's the same thing that uh, Ghost had. Oh, interesting. So I've never had a shaker that's had this before. All of the no yeah, thing. all of the shakers that I've gotten from energy companies have that. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh, there must be a design. That's like that's form. like their default shaker thing. I didn't like it very much though because it didn't seem to. It all it did was it made it difficult to put the powder into the mm. thing. Gotcha. Because, like, you put the water in and you put the powder in and it just gets stuck on top of that little shaker area. I think it should be more down near the bottom, like with the ones that I saw Rebirth. with the metal thing. I say droppable. So, uh, Dubby, so Dubby, uh, Dubby, if you guys, Dubby, if you guys, if you guys ever see this little ad that we just made, you should put a little metal thing in your shakers. Pull, pull back just, just I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to whisper into it like this. Do you want to know the rest of the flavors real quick? Sure, tell me the flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell us, you Give us more flavors. We got pas- Passion Joy uh, Tea. Um, nice. And then a beach and peach. Beach Galaxy and peach. Grenade looks beach like the best peach one. They are sold out of that one. Galaxy <laughs> Grenade? Ooh, what's the flavor? What, of that? Yeah, what is that? Um, it it's like watermelon, gua- guava, and lime explosion. Yeah. I, mean, I, water, love, guava. Guava. Uh, I love guava. I love guava. Beach and peach is a mango white peach cooler. Ooh. And then the passion joy tea is a crisp passion fruit iced tea. Hey, Mick. That would be good. What? Yeah. Yes, is, sir. Is that, is that green screen supposed to be green over there? What green screen? Behind us? Yeah. Yeah. Because before it showed the wood. Yes. But now now our editor can put whatever he wants behind oh, us. Oh, it's green for swa. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Green for swa. That's a little peek behind the sausage there, guys. Peek behind whose sausage specifically? BPM sauce. The BPM the, sausage. The peak. BPM media giant sausage. It's a peek behind Mick's sausage. <laughs> the above average... Sausage. Above average sausage? What's average? Your mom. Your mom. So, that, that's pretty fun. Um, I saw Calvin's mom today. Oh, yeah? I said hi to her. She gave me a hug. I honestly just wanted to say hi to her. Mm-hmm. And she was like, no way. You're just kid- saying hi to me. My mom is a hugger. And she came up and gave me a hug. She has a hugger. I nice. will let you know, Calvin, that your mom gave me a she very hugged, nice She hug. gave me a big hug, too. Yeah, but I'm sure she I was also there. I'm sure she always says that. Yeah, she's she a hugger. Me. She'll hug everybody. I mean, she has to hug a very big hug. 
Yeah, she doesn't have no, to. Yes, no. she, she mm, wants mm. to hug me because I give the best hugs. That's why she wants to hug me. <clears throat> she want no. She literally, literally, when she comes over to my house, mm. right, and they're gonna leave. Mm. If I'm like sitting down or I'm like another room or in the bathroom, or whatever, she'll wait, or she'll get me up and she'll be like, "I gotta get a hug from Calvin. I gotta get a hug from Calvin before I leave because he's the best hugger." I mean, that's kind of a it's true paternal thing when parents leave your house. They kind of. Give their children some, but, some love. And but it's okay. But it's not my it's, mom, and she gave me a quite a big hug. It's not her giving me a hug. It's her wanting a hug hmm. from me specifically. Maybe she's just doing so it for you. She just stands there with her arms to she her side. She stands there waiting and says, "I am waiting to accept your hug, she's, son Calvin." She's, she doesn't <laughs> say son Calvin. I'm not Goku, my guy. But she just she knows that I give the best hugs. She's huh. aware of it. Other people hmm. also are. Other people also have said the same thing. Interesting. Hmm. I give uh, real good hugs. If you're one of those people. My cousin is one example. I don't know. You touched her toes and she did not like that. Yeah, I don't hug feet, my guy. What's wrong with you? You hug Jennifer's feet with your feet. That's gross. That's not a hug. It's like, it's like holding What's hands. the definition of a hug? You have to wrap your arms around somebody. Are you sure? Yeah. What is the definition of a hug? An embrace. Using okay. arms. Nope. I don't think it has to be I think it's arms. just like a I think you brace. have to use arms in order to hug. If there's no arms, there's no hug. People, uh, paraplegics can't give hugs. You got it. You know what? He's right on the one. Is he? Really? You have to have, you have to have arms? It says in one's arms. Wow. Yep. That's, that's a dictionary thing. I think, I think the dictionary is a little, uh, inconsiderate. I think you're a little, uh, uh, inconsiderate. Amputees. It amputees. does say, it does not always mean to express affection. Yeah. It says um, typically to express Yeah, because you could, you could hug in violence. There could be a violent hug I where think you. That's a very interesting thing. Where you, that this could go in the inverse yeah, too. Where, where you where you crush the soul out of somebody with your bare arms. What what happened to this man? I hugged him. Their spine <laughs> broke. And that that actually works. Yeah. Well, if you think about the I hugged like, him to death. The drunken bro fight outside of a bar usually what? starts with like words and you know going to be fighting and then one grabs the other one and then all of a sudden they're hugging real hard no and then it turns into like i love you but then no. it's still like but you know you, wait that's no no, age, no. Has, this happened? has this happened no no no, okay. happened. no it's, Mick. it's that's, amazing that's, it's, it's an awesome thing to see no yep i just yeah that's interesting Hug so can be hugs require arms negative and positive hugs require arms but don't have to be passionate no not at all they, they could be require affection. You could hug all. in violence. Honestly, it was really funny looking at your face when I said you could hug in violence. You would like it was like a, <laughs> there was a specific expression. <laughs> <laughs> you were very surprised. What can I say, man? By the I'm violent hugging. Dude. By the violent hugging. <laughs> the violent hugging. <laughs> yeah, because like can you see our time over there? I just can't see it. But the red dot. Uh, almost an hour. All right, cool. Almost. Yeah, we're close. Okay. Can you recall your conversation? What you were going to say? What was I going to say? I don't know. About what? What were you talking about? Did you like your uh, buzz ball? It was good. It was strawberry. Well, it was strawberry Rita, right? It was strawberry. Mm -hmm. Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, it was strawberry Rita, wasn't it? Strawberry, strawberry the, margarita. Uh, yeah. Beers is the straw beer. It was a strawberry Rita. That that's another buzz ball? Is it's not. Oh. It's not. No, no. It's, that, it's the, uh, oh, the, the bud, bud one. Is it, is it bud or... I think it's Bud, isn't it? I can't remember. I've oh, seen it. It's one of those. Remember. Do you know which one I'm talking about? It's the Beeritas. The... I brought them over to your house before. They're disgusting. They're not good. You know, I bet the women ate all the pizza. No, not at all. How many pizzas did you get? Too large. If they're mm. gone. No, they're not. Jennifer ate half a that one. That is genuinely insulting, I feel like, to the women. <laughs> I think it all, is. That three women no. would end up eating those pizzas. Jennifer ate Plus half a one. My wife is gluten-free, so she bought her own. For so she ate a whole group. No, so no, no. She has, she so has what a gluten-free gluten pizza. Is that wait, wait, wait. my there's, wife uh, and your wife? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> are there two larges and one of them's gluten-free? Or there's no, two larges there's, and there's a gluten-free? There's two free? larges, a small one for the – a mini for the children, and then my wife has her own okay, separate Okay, so you didn't tell me the whole further. story. You didn't tell me the whole story. So hold on. I want to make sure we clear this up in case our wives listen to this yeah, episode. they won't. You – no, my wife does. Um, <laughs> do you still think my wife and your wife could eat – Two large pizzas. If there was just two larges, right? He didn't tell me the whole story when I said that. I didn't know. I didn't know there was no, a no, small. Okay, wife no, makes no, the no, difference. No, 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 listen. No, 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 listen. Let me finish. I didn't know there was a small for the kids and a gluten free for his wife. I thought five people, mm, that's true. two large pizzas, and a baby that will eat like three bites, maybe. Um, Jeez, three bites. Oh, of pizza. no, she, we give her some food. 
She'll eat. She'll like probably eat. Egg. She does. If we if we pizza, cut huh? a slice up into small pieces, she could do a whole slice. Oh wow! Easy. Um, so me thinking two large pizzas, five people and a baby, they could crush that. That's crushable. Crushable. These are pretty big pizzas. I guess I don't know how big your larges are because I'm they're bigger than they used to be because new owners. So. And it depends on what toppings you got and if they're stuffed or not or whatever. Like. Wow. Because like, because like, you could get two large thin crust, and I could crush both those myself. Who gets thin crust? <laughs> Nobody gets. Thin Some people crust. do. No. Some people. My parents do. No. My get parents the normal get thin amount crust. of carbs. Eat the bread how it's supposed to. Be. They get thin crust all the time. That's exactly how you do it. You I want thin more crust bread. Crap. Wait, I had this conversation. I want with a my... cracker. I'll get a cracker. I had this conversation with my family yesterday. Actually, if you could only eat one dish for the rest of your life, or to be. Um, Actually, paella. What the, paella. What the paella. heck? Freaking what the paella. hell, Mick? Because it's got everything and it's delicious. Mick, Mick, you've never said the word paella since I've known you. I love paella. It's amazing. You what have is, never talked about you your have love never talked no, about paella. I, I concur on this. No, 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 no. I never talked no, no. about because no, no. I talk right? about my love for food all the time, and we, you've never we, said everybody paella. Everybody knows that Calvin loves Alfredo. We know this, but okay. you have never once mentioned. What do I like? What do I like? Tacos. Okay, yeah. I mean, that, but we <laughs> we can just look at you. No, no, no. But <laughs> he does talk about you tacos. You have never talked about paella once. What is paella I don't think again? I've talked about food much. Mick, explain Actually, to me. Like burgers. But, explain to me what paella is. Explain it, to me for the audience. It's a, it's a rice rice dish, but it has a, a usually like sausage and uh, clams and like other clams. things in it as well. I can't remember exactly what's in it, but it's so, a bunch so there's of multiple things. meats, but it has to have clams. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to. No, no, no. It's, it's just like it's basically like a big pan about there's that big. There's seafood and paella, like... and then there's like normal. Okay, paella. yeah. So it's like gumbo, so, but like Spanish gumbo. So, but, it's, but is it a like, gumbo? Is a soup though? Yes, I'm just yeah. saying it's like a Spanish gumbo, and it's not soup. But I'm saying gumbo in so the terms of that it mixes. So it's so more like a more like a fried rice. No, it's not a fried rice though. I wouldn't call it a fried mm -hmm. rice either because it's way better than a fried rice. It's, yep. But it's, it's not a soup level of what? It's not soup no, level, but it has a nice. So it's like bottom. it's like couscous. Depends. It doesn't always. Ha it doesn't always have to be like super super Mick, spicy. Uh, Mick, saucy. Mick, when but you, you want to have you, like that good crust on the bottom? When do you like, eat pie? How many? How often do you eat pie? Uh, not very often, but in Seattle, there's a good spot up there. So you don't make it? I no, no I haven't. Bobby doesn't make it. I've made it a long time. No, Bobby doesn't make it either. She's never made it. No. So you. So it's your, it is your forever dish, yeah. but you only have it at a restaurant in Seattle. It's if he, delicious. If it was his forever dish, then he would be making it. I'd be more, making it myself. Obviously. Sure, I'm just no, I'm just, I'm just clarifying. Thing I'm that, clarifying. It's like, got, it's got so it's many got things everything. in it. It's, it's rice. It's got meat. It has vegetables. It's got a, you want, vegetables. It does have sure. So, yeah. yeah. And, okay. and like I said, you can't just make like a paella. You make a paella. Yeah. <laughs> like it's humongous. yeah. It's a dish. It's like a big old stir fry, but like Spanish flavor. Okay. 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 What's your sure. food? What's your food? Pizza. Pizza. Uh, that would hundred percent so pizza. No, because you can put anything you can on do pizza. A lot with pizza, though. You can put any. It's first of all, first of all, for health reasons, it hits every single food group in the pyramid. Okay. Secondly, it's generally breaded though. Like every you single can have time thin crust. That, it doesn't matter. It You're does still matter. That. It's a you need carbs in Not your meal. That many carbs. You do need carbs. Carbs, carbs fill you up, and they promote a healthy gut. You need Not carbs. That many though. You, thin crust is barely any every meal dude i could eat pizza for every meal i'm telling you you'd blow you you'd i would have swell. so much energy i would exercise i'd be fine i don't think that <laughs> i'd be fine nah, nah. listen no dude your food was all rice that's also carb right yeah, but, it's but i'm not saying than, rice is not a, rice is not a healthier carb than dough but Absolutely. i'm not saying it's that not all that you carbs is gonna make me like rice is not a healthier off. carb what are you basing that on? it's just grain dude it's all grain it's but all grains. You're saying I can make a rice based dough. It doesn't matter. It's all grains. Grains are grains. Rice healthier than wheat than pizza crust. Mm. You could make pizza crust out of rice dough. It's all grains. Yeah, I mean, you, you could do that. It's yeah, all rice. grains. So, like, you have to you have to Google what grains are healthier than others. Because wheat is a grain. I can make my pizza out of cheese if i wanted to if i wanted yeah, to go exactly. pure keto which is fine i can yeah. make a keto pizza out of no grains mm -hmm. like pizza has so many different things what'd you what'd you find out i don't know there's a lot of things it's not really giving me the answer i want it's a convoluted 
Google search. Yeah, well, yeah. talking so, about the whole of pizza instead so of pizza instead of doing pizza, pizza do is is rice. Rice versus rice, rice versus wheat, wheat could be interesting. For yeah, pizza crust. Rice versus well, just as a grain, rice versus wheat, which rice is healthier. Versus wheat flour. There you go. Sure. I feel like rice flour is better for you, actually. I don't know. Or more sustainable. I feel like it would depend on the GMOs, also. I don't know. Because like whole wheat flour is known to be healthy. Yeah. Spelt flour is interesting. Spelt is gross. It's weird. I hate spelt. Why? It's disgusting. I think it's alright. I hate it. My parents did that for a while. Mm-hmm. It was just I hated it. Everything they ever made was spelt. Disgusting. Yeah. It was like if you take bread and make it gluten free mm-hmm. and salt free, it's well, like it's like a weird dry cracker of no flavor. It's well, gross. You gotta put flavor in it. There's no flavor. You can't you, put you fla- can... spelt. The spelt is the epitome of. No flavor. It's the absence <laughs> of everything good. I've had some spelt cookies and they're good. Wheat flour is way higher in calories. Okay. Um, but it is superior uh nutritionally than white rice. Okay. Yeah. However, white, white rice is way lower in calories. Because white rice is nothing. That's so what it sounds like I mean what I'm gathering from this like is in paella, you'd get the nutrients from the You the get a bigger other thing things. for your buck, I feel like, in rice. No. What is the, the rice, term of calories that you end up yeah. putting in calories? Your body. Sure, but rice is just a filler. That's the thing. There's no nut- neutral. There's no nu- nutritional. Nu- what is the word? Nutritional think value. Of? Nutritional value to rice. Rice is just a filler. So if you just eat rice, you'll die because there's no nutrition. <laughs> okay. If but you in paella, if, it's not just rice. It's not sure. Not to no, say you add a lot of meal add a rice. Lot of toppings yeah, to it of and vegetables and stuff. Mm-hmm. You can do the same thing on pizza. Yeah. But with wheat, wheat has a nutritional value to it. You could live on bread and water. Bread and water, you could survive. I mean, I, I believe there's a, a verse in the Bible that says you shouldn't live on You bread shouldn't and water, live on just bread know, and you water. You can. You can. But you could survive on bread and water. You could not survive on rice and water. Okay. Rice is not enough nutritional so, value. survive on salt and crackers. And, and just water. so we're getting this straight. Paella. Mm-hmm. Paella, Paella. Pizza. Pizza. Burrito. Burrito. Oh, actually, Burrito. that's a good idea, yeah. Same concept. Yep. It is similar. It's the same concept. It's the same concept as pizza. It's just, I feel like you are able to get away from the cheese aspect that generally comes with every pizza. You could have pizza without cheese. Would it be a pizza, though? Yes. Yeah, it would be. Would it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Honestly, yeah, although is. cheese it's... isn't unhealthy. Large amounts of cheese Large... is. No. Also, I'm lactose intolerant. So that's a problem for you. <laughs> that's a problem for specifically you. Wait, how did cheese... we come out with the, uh, the cheese from the last live one we did? You ate lots of cheese. How'd that go? How, how was you ate night? a whole bunch of Oaxaca. You brought Oaxaca tonight, actually. Are I we going to eat Oaxaca remember. tonight? Yeah, we need to go eat Oaxaca. Yeah, we do. Um, I don't we should eat Oaxaca that. on camera, I don't know. actually. No, no. We should, our post show should be us stuffing Oaxaca in our face. I, I don't think so. The audience wants it, and they deserve it. So, paella. Pizza. Pizza. And burritos. Pito. Okay, so now... Chorizo. Second question. Second follow-up question. Similar to the first, but different. You should have chose something with an M. What? Because we had BPM. I don't care. I actually, I actually don't care. <laughs> Why didn't you choose something with an M? It still would have been BPM. Because I went first. <laughs> y'all, y'all should figure it out. It's like matzo soup or something like that. Matzo. <laughs> matzo. No. Um. So, follow-up question. Similar but different. If you were in prison. And you were going to be your executed. What's your last meal? Because mm. that's not going to be the same as your forever meal. Make rib okay. and shamrock shake. You're disgusting. That is disgusting. Get out. Get Mc, out. No. Wait, wait, Mc wait, ribs, you know why? McRibs are disgusting, but, but, first of all. But do you know why? And every shake from McDonald's is why? disgusting. Go ahead and tell me why. I'm Have you ever seen the McRib and the shamrock shake? Both available at the I've same time? I've seen the commercial. Okay. They're going to get They're your still last garbage. Meal. They're going to tell you no. And then no, they're just no, gonna say, no. "Okay, we'll just kill you no, anyways." No, no, no. no okay, that, wait. That, so that's it, your last. So, thing, so is you your go. is your strategy to request foods that can't be obtained so you'll live longer? Yeah, there you go. There you go. So yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> your last meal. They're gonna bring Calvin it to you anyways. Ahead. They're gonna make it in the prison. Start us off, fine. Man. Yeah, what's your last meal? Chicken Pizza. Alfredo from Jennifer specifically. <laughs> oh, nice. That's really sweet Ew. because there, it's actually it is a really emotional reason why. Because you made love the first time. You no, that that's chicken. not why. That's not why. No, <laughs> that's not why. That's not why. It makes you think of <laughs> first of all, her chicken alfredo is the best chicken alfredo I've ever had in my life. So it'll be an amazing meal. Also, 
it'll remind me of everything that I love in life right before I die. Aww. Like, that'll be the last memory that I have. Devin's crying. Wait. <laughs> tearing up. Sweet. You know, I mean, it might, I probably think it would be your last memory, though, because. Well, it'd be sure my, it, it would be your last meal. It would be my then. last good memory. Like I, they give you your last I would, meal directly before, right before you get executed. Yeah, okay. like you'd, you'd eat it on death you'd row eat for it, months, and then sit in the, you'd yeah. eat it, then sit in the chair. Okay. Yeah, That'd it'd be, be your hard. last good memory. Yeah, that's what I would do. Chicken Alfredo from Jennifer. Nice. She'd have to come make it herself for me because I could. No one else could be able to replicate it. It'd be hers. <laughs> See, now the question would be: Would she be willing to? She would because of the reason you're in prison. She loves me. But that's I mean, could there be there. a reason you're in prison? It doesn't that matter. She make it. That's different. That's not part of the question. That's the question I, mean, I'm that, I feel like that's a, that's a supplementary question. Steak. Yeah. There you go. My, that's my answer. Quickly steak. answer. Okay. Steak. steak. Okay. Okay. Now, I was also kidding about the, the shamrock shake. And, okay. and that. Yeah, I, that want cool cool I want actual answers from both of you. You want an actual? Okay. I, here's the thing: is whatever answer I give is not going to be emotional as it doesn't matter. Meal my wife. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be. I just want to know. Delicately places, <laughs> de- delicately spoons Alfredo sauce on this chicken and fettuccine. So and that's that's personal to me, right? Just I to want me. a steak that's made perfectly medium rare with okay. a nice uh, sauce on it, with mashed potatoes next to it, okay. and a nice scotch, like a really good that's steak I dinner. I scotch. guess you're you're right. Who cares about my last memory of my wife? No, I just want fine. a nice steak it's dinner fine. No, that's before fine. I die. Listen, listen, listen. For something probably really this bad. This is what my dad said. My dad said a perfectly cooked tomahawk steak with crab linguine on top of it. Okay? It's fine. That sounds good. To pick delicious food. Yeah, that's we fine. all hate our wives compared to you. No, guys. that's not. You don't have. It's not. We're not comparing each decision. <laughs> That's personal to me. You can pick whatever you want. You can pick whatever crappy I feel like we food can't you top want. it though. You we can't, we can't, we can't it. it doesn't even this. matter what I say no. now. Whatever I say, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for later yep. for not choosing something my wife made. Exactly. So you might as well just I might as well just like you're not just gonna, move on to the next not, question. You'll be fine, Devin. No, I'm not. Pick whatever you want. It's, it's, I'm it's not going to be no, fine. No, because because it's not about your wife. In a couple weeks, I'm just it's over it's for me. It's not about your wife. It's about you. What would you pick? I won't even get to be on death row. I'll just be dead. That's <laughs> that's. Well, you'll still well, have a last meal, technically. Won't be a good one. Could you <laughs> It'll get, be like, saltine crackers. <laughs> could, could you get like a poisonous fish, like a like I don't know, like one of the sushi? Ones. I mean, if you want, real, you can yeah, like puffer one, fish. One want, that'll kill you. I want an like puffer fish. Basket of fly amanita mushrooms. That's what I want. Just for raw, <laughs> just raw. Let me eat some shrooms. I mean, no, just a bowl of psilocybin. They're not going to give just, you something yeah, that kills I mean, you. Might as well go out with a bang. It has right? to be an actual go meal. Out. Because, God, could you imagine that if they give you time for it to kick in, and then you know, as the they're not as gonna as the things are going off. Imagine what the people would be gladly. Dude, I gotta pee so badly. Oh yeah, I okay, pee so bad. Should we continue on for another half hour? We should. At we least. should say. We should say goodbye. <laughs> And good night, and then I'll go pee, and then we'll start post show. I think okay. Jennifer just keeps calling me also. Sushi? So oh, cool, awesome. Well, this has been another episode of Beers per Minute. Uh, we want to thank everyone for sticking around. Thank you for tuning in with all of our to our antics. shenanigans and yeah, all that stuff. Uh, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Dubby. Dubby Energy. Dubby. Uh, Dubbin. Dubby dot gg. Uh, pick out anything you want, guys. Anything. W, w dubs. So, and uh, right, right, th- right here, right here. Go to this link, right here. This link, this link, right here. Right, right there, right there. Put discount code BPM to get ten percent off your order. Yeah, boy. Um, enjoy. Generalist yeah. energy. Be better. And it's good, dude. Like I said, the, the dragon, dragonade. What's called dragonade. Yeah, dragonade. Super amazing. Good. Can- can you just sit for a second? I'm going to piss myself. You can do it. You do can it do it on camera. This you is probably the camera. best thing we've... We, the best I'm going to I'm I'm gonna right, piss myself. Thank you so much for everything. But I also want to give it one last big shout out to... <laughs> God, good God. Duffy for the use of their song, we saw it off the album. Fair enough. All right, everybody. Bye. 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 Per Minute has been presented by Stupid Mythic Forest. New episodes come out on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Don't forget to rate and subscribe so you never miss a thing.